Hello, welcome to another bio episode of Biology Tutorials. My name is Musa Tani Musleman, and today we are going to talk about fruits and seeds. We have four items to talk about today. Definition of a fruit, structure of a fruit, classification of fruits, and dispersal of seeds and fruits. What is fruits? Botanically speaking, a fruit is a seed-bearing structure that develops from an ovary of a flowering plant. Whereas, vegetables are all other plant parts such as roots, leaves and stems. What we are trying to explain here is fruit simply is a super class while the seeds are the subclass which shows they are embedded inside the fruit and it grows on a tree or bush and which contains seeds or a stone covered by a substance that can be eaten that led us to structure of a seed of a fruit uh, uh, by default, if you check the structure here, you see what all they are trying to explain here is we have a seeds or seeds inside the fruit. An example of a fruit we have apple, banana, beans, cherry, tomato, walnuts, and the rest. Some have only one seed, some fruits, and some you find multiple seeds inside them. What are the difference between fruits and seeds? Fruits, it is formed from the ovary, while seeds is formed from the ovary. Fruits, it has two scars for attachments, while seed it has one scar for attachments. It consists of seeds or seeds. Why is it? It consists of an embryo. Embryo, it means an early development of a seed. It protects and encloses the seeds. It's found in the fruits. Okay. All right, the last statement here is what we are trying to say is uh, it's embedded. It is inside the fruit that sits. And the fruit is a super class classification of fruits as you can see here we have black grapes golden pineapple yellow bananas green plantain um, passion fruits apple you can see them here that classification of fruits and finally we are going to talk about dispersal of seeds and fruits dispersal is a transfer of seeds or fruits from parent plants or other place where seeds may germinate and the agent of dispersal includes wind, which shows it can blow from one place to another by taking some materials. Animals, as they are chewing the cord, they can take it from one place to another. Water, as the water is flowing, it can take from um, substances from one de destination to another destination. Human beings and explosive mechanisms. In summary, what we are trying to explain here is fruits are matured, fertilized ovary of flower containing one or more seeds simple as i've earlier stated some will have more than one seeds and some will have some will have more than one seed and some will have one seed inside them and we have here we have revision questions um that we're going to practice okay thank you very much see you in another episode